Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Davy Jade and I'm here to share with you what we will be doing on the solar eclipse. It is right with the new moon energy. It is a small window of time as I've shared. And so if you prepare, prepare now, then you'll get the impact. You will receive the impact of the sun and the moon coming together. Now we already had the full moon eclipse, lunar eclipse, one of two this year. But now we're having the solar eclipse. Well, my goodness, what does that mean? Is one better than the other? No. Is one more pronounced than the other? Yes. So the sun will be moving over the moon. And of course, the energy of the sun will be stronger than the moon energy, which was just a short time ago on the full moon. It is a time where the healing energy will be strengthened through a soft male energy. And the moon energy will maintain its femininity. So much like a partner that has a beautiful, kind, soft male energy would wrap their arms around their loved one the one that holds the feminine energy. This is the energy of this moon. The times will be listed below, so check those out. But as I'm channeling right now, in this moment, everything that's coming from my mouth is not prepared. Because even when I receive it, I'm quite surprised with what comes out. And I'm thinking, oh, that's very beautiful. So with our new moon, and as with all of the energies that are so powerful and everything does affect us, the planets do affect us, the moons affect us, everything affects us, you might want to have a moon bath. A moon bath would be, you know, getting into the bathtub, having it more quiet, and lighting a candle. You might want to do that earlier, and if you cannot do that, at least prepare maybe, hmm, I'm thinking a little bit of oil, a very golden oil that will be in something where you can spray it on you, a little container of such a sprayer. That was just channeled to me as well. And I like that because there's a lot of beautiful oils. What, do I use baby oil? Do I use whatever oil? It's a golden oil. If you cannot, it would be sunflower oil or grapeseed oil or whatever. You don't have to run around and get all these extra things. Good olive oil is just the ticket. What if you don't even have that? Hmm. I'd like you to get lemon oil, not pledge. No, 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 not anything for the furniture. No, I want something that you can put on your skin put on your face, you know, so that you have that energy of the sun with you, a very soft energy, because as you put it on you, you are using that way of being kind to your skin, which is a very soft, feminine way to do this. If you have your own oils, such as lemon or citrus or something, absolutely go for it. Then what I'm coming up with is get a mirror. You can get a little mirror, get a pocket size mirror, something that you can see yourself in. And I want you to take that mirror with you out to the time of this eclipse. And when you do, I want the mirror to be face down. Face down so the mirror is focusing on your face but it's also capturing the energy of that eclipse. So now we're going to get something very powerful because we're going to bring that energy and balance it out in the mirror so that it can come to you. Now, I would say to you on this, you might wanna get a little mirror about, you know, about this big. It doesn't have to be a big thing. 
something that you can have on your altar or put it in a box for later so that you can have that captured energy. Because once you have captured it, it will stay there. You need to put it, you need to put a covering on it. So I will put a black cloth on it, a red cloth on it, or I would tuck it away in something such as a little pouch or something where it's got a nice little, um, let's see in here, this happens to have a little pink insert, but it's dark. And so I would probably put some cloth in there and put it in there so it will be nice and quiet. I wouldn't add a crystal in there. I wouldn't add stones in there because that energy needs to be by itself and very quiet. So on the times of the dark moons, before the crescent moon comes out on the new moon, you'll have that energy to put on your altar so that can rise up into your face. This is a pure channeling. So I would encourage you to watch it a few times so that you receive it correctly because there was a special order in the way to do these things. And I have no idea, honestly, what I just said, sort of. If I have to think about it, I'll go back, but I want you to rewatch. And then that way, that energy will be with you for a while. Now, do you do it ever so every solar eclipse? I would say you probably could because there's not that many solar eclipses, but make sure it's a very similar eclipse when you do it because some are partial, some are full, and I don't mean a moon, a lunar one, I mean the solar eclipse. So having done that, and I'm totally gonna do that, I actually have the mirror in my head of what I'm gonna use, okay? Then I'm going to put it in a place on my altar or in the drawers underneath where my altar is and keep it separate from everything else. So it, it's not gonna be alone, but it's just all got this vibration where it'll be by itself. Some of you have said, well, I don't have a place I can put it, I don't know. Get a little box then, something that you have. There's plenty of these little boxes we can buy that are pretty cute, or you can create one yourself, or an old ring box or something, or old jewelry box, something where you can put it by itself. So I've said that several times because I wanna make sure that you know that this particular energy that we're capturing needs to be private and by itself, okay? So it's got its own sacred space. So what do you do with it? Well, then when the new moon, the dark moon comes, I will repeat this again, you'll be able to use that during the dark moon with your candle so that you, if you have a separate candle, other than the crescent moon candle, which is your new moon candle, and you can sit with that. What color do I use a color every time? I would say you can use a dark candle. I always like purple when it comes to anything in regard to psychic abilities or creating and strengthening your intuition because it's got the third eye color in here and that's what we want. So I would use that. Um, you could use white if you have nothing else, but just remember, please never use those little tea candles for any work that we're doing because of the tin that's around it. That would not be preferable. What about beeswax candles? I would say since those are specially made by the bees, you can always use those. So having said that about candles and that about the mirror, that is what we're going to do for our solar eclipse you'll take your magical bath with a candle, okay? Put that out, just be in the dark with it, or you're gonna put the oil on you. Now, what about people that wanna do the overdue and say, I wanna do it all? I would basically choose one or the other, okay? And then you have the mixture of that kind, compassionate male energy and that super feminine watery energy because you've done that piece then you're going to get your mirror, you're going to go outside with it, you're going to capture that solar eclipse, okay, and you're going to tuck it away, you're going to wrap it up and you're going to tuck it away, and then when the crescent comes, you can pull it out. Does the energy fade over time? It will if you do everything that I've asked you 
to please not do. Otherwise, it'll stay pretty powerful. And it will create a lot of reflective energy of that moon energy so that you can do your work, your prayer work. And it will, I don't know that it will come faster, but you'll become more intuitive. You'll be more reflective. You'll be more in harmony with your male and female energies. And that's what we want. So this retrograde is actually helping us to come back to ourselves by being divided where it can be together. Because that is typically how things are, right? We have things that are divided and we bring them together. That's our hope. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a download right here on the spot. Absolutely amazing. I'm excited for this myself. Okay, I love when this happens because I do do the channelings. I receive them as we're going. But when I get some nice surprise like this, I'm right in it with you. Do prepare yourself also for our new moon. And then there will also be a meditation and please listen to that during the new moon. And as I share with you in regard to the meditations, they are channeled. They're very, very helpful. Never have a care if you feel like, well, I'm not getting knocked out because a lot of them do knock us out right away because they're so, the energy is so high. If you don't keep listening because yourself inside, whether it's your ego or whether it's your heart, the two of them together, you're just creating more trust in yourself that, wow, this is something that I can really receive. And then you have more compliance with that division. It comes together more. Do this for yourself. Very much so. Do you need to light a candle with this particular thing that I'm asking you to do with the mirror? No, I just want you to go get that mirror. So I'm going to get this all done for you, post it. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And know that my care is always over you. I am grateful that I am called to share these things with you. There are many, many teachings. And as you watch these, you will receive the energy that is flowing through here and you will be healed on your conscious level, your subconscious level and super subconscious level. Be well, be blessed and I will see you soon. Good evening.